I just want to preface this video by saying I know that many more young, more immature believers don't like churches specifically because they don't want to answer to anyone, you know, and it's very much that I only answer to God. But if you only answer to God, then you'll know by his scriptures that God's house is a house of order. You do not need to go to a church to get that order. The church, that is us, there will be order, says the Lord. There will be organizational structure. There will be leadership. That's how it's always been amidst God's people. Only a heart full of rebellion will fight against that. We cannot do this walk our way, and as evidenced by difficult times to come, you won't want to. If you're like me when I was a younger believer and you're just desperate to be used, then get desperate to be used and pray that every single day for as long as it takes. The Lord is no respecter of the person of persons. He will use you too. Until then, we will respect and submit to all spiritual authorities and those on earth. Praise the Lord, dear saints. We thank the Lord for another day. I'm your sister Kelly, and you are the remnant rising. God is appointing his government. He is doing so and putting saints strategically in place. This is all about Ephesians 6. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is a strategic implementation of positioning by God to put saints in places where he who goes before has already seen great wickedness building. And he's been, as many of you know, doing this positioning for several years. And it is all coming into fruition with the um, appointment of his government here on earth. Now, don't forget, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is not an our government against their government. We're well aware you should be by the scriptures. We give to Caesar what is Caesar's. We submit to the human authorities. That is what the scriptures tell us. We are not, nor will we ever be a rebellious people because to do so is absolutely disobedience against God. Unless, you know, I just want to say, should the authorities tomorrow make laws, and they will, that's why this government's being appointed, make laws that are about, like, to tell you to sin. It's a law and you have to do it or, 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 or else, you know. No, we don't obey that. We don't, we don't sin uh, for anyone. <laughs> um, so let's just be aware of that. But the whole point of the fact that we submit to human governments is so that we may live at peace. Truly, that we may live at peace, like the scriptures say, live at peace with all as much as possible, as much as you're able to. So government speaks to authority, and we see that spoken about here in Isaiah chapter 9. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Oh, the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. Hallelujah. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. So government speaks to authority. And we know, as according to the scriptures, that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Jesus Christ. And he has given you saints that authority. Spiritual authority over what is unclean. Spiritual authority over what you cannot see. Because again, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know, not that God doesn't have it in his power to give you authority over human rulers. But what fruitfulness would that be? when generally the human rulers aren't saved people. You know, it's better that we should love and witness to others than to have authority just to say we have authority. You know, God is, God is really purposeful. And so, so often we see the wicked prospering over the saints because those in authority, frankly, are wicked. But then there comes a time, you know, where the remnant is rising, where the darkness is becoming so great that God appoints people to come against it. And we see that all throughout the scriptures, I'm sure, especially in the Old Testament. But I'm going to give you an example here from the New Testament in Acts in chapter 5. So as usual, the great faith of the apostles um, is being come against, persecuted. And we see in verse 25, excuse me, 27, the apostles were brought in and made to appear before the Sanhedrin to be questioned by the high priest. 
We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name, he said, yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. This is, of course, after the crucifixion um, and the resurrection. Hallelujah. Peter and the other apostles replied, we must obey God rather than human beings. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead, whom you killed by hanging him on a cross. God exalted him to his own right hand as prince and savior that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins. We are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Gosh, I don't think I've ever really read it like that. Um, I always like to read about the receiving of the Holy Spirit. When you're in ministry, you know, you want people to receive the Holy Spirit. And we see the Holy Spirit coming by so many ways, you know, um, the disciples lying hands and people receive the Holy Spirit. Of course, God sending the Holy Spirit. Um, but here, uh, the Holy Spirit, Peter says, God gives to those who obey him. Praise the Lord. Um, so, of course, here we see leaders, godless leaders, but nevertheless leaders, and, and the disciples are submitting to them. You know, they didn't fight them and say, we're not going to stand before you for what? You know, that's what we have to remember. When you fear God and you're right with God, you have no need to fear men. So they call you into the courthouse. So they call you before everyone. So let them say the truth. Say his name. You know, we have nothing to fear, and that's what happened here. Um, so but they were very clear though, uh, we must obey God rather than human beings. And that's exactly what we need to remember is that as these times go on and as everything that's coming to this earth is coming, first and foremost, we're obeying God, but it's a fine line to walk because you still need to walk in peace with people and you still can't call rebellion discipleship. It will never, ever be that, you know, um, so we, we really have a fine line to walk. So that's why God is really appointing this government to have a ranking order, to have people that we can go to, to have, to have some of you be the people that we go to when there's questions, you know, how do I handle this? Like at my workplace, now they suddenly have a law that, you know, you're not allowed to wear cross necklaces. You're not allowed to say Jesus. Like this is real talk. And, and we're going to have to answer to these things. And of course, Romans eight thirty one. you know, how then, what then shall we say in response to these things? I always love that part of God before us, who can be against us. But I love that part because that's what we're going into. What do we say in response to the coming, you know, demonic chaos of this earth? If God before us, who can be against us? That's not just a statement. That means that that's what you stand in as you answer to these really demonic agendas that are going to be more and more and more implemented into society, further marginalizing Christians. Absolutely. Further, because they're starting to take away things from us. Okay. They're starting to take away things from us. That's why God is continuing to lavish upon us. Praise the Lord. Because everything is, is just making way for the, the beast system. Um, you know, we can't buy, we can't sell unless we take the mark. And they know we're not going to take the mark. You know, those um, in the spiritual darkness know uh, who has faith and who doesn't. We learn that in the book of Acts as well. Pretty sure it's Acts, right, with the Jewish exorcist. Um, these two faithless men go try to deliver someone from a demon. And the demon talks to them and says, uh, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? You know, the, those in darkness know who's carrying authority. And so that's exactly who the Lord is putting, um, letting them know, continuing to let you know, beginning to let you know, hey, I'm appointing you in this position of government. And of course, as all places in government, there will be people that come to you for situations just like that. This is just so important. In First Peter, we see uh, at verse 13, submit, ooh, submit yourselves, beautiful breeze, submit yourselves for the Lord's sake, for the Lord's sake to every human authority, whether to the emperor as the supreme authority or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is, check this out, for it is God's will that by doing good, you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as God's 
slaves. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Scriptures are just so ridiculously specific, you know, and that's why he's appointing this government. It really is uh, just like an appointment of elders in a church, you know, having people that we go to for these situations to ask, how do I handle this? You know, and that person will give you a fitting word, will give you a, a word of knowledge, a prophetic instruction. You know, the Lord is working in every single, oh, hey, Kiki. The Lord is working in every single office that he has established on this earth in his, in the body of Christ. You know, he's really establishing order is what he's doing. He is a God of order. Um, I probably could have just said that. Um, but anyway, it's time for Kiki's second dinner. So I just, I'm going to leave that there. God is appointing his government. And, you know, many of you already know you carry that authority. The Lord's been walking with you for years in that authority and teaching you how to use it. Well, the next thing that comes after that is he'll send the people, you know, just, I'm, I'm just reminded of uh, Deborah now, you know, Deborah had great authority and she would sit under a palm tree and God would send her people. The people would go to her with issues and she would give them justice. You know, she was a judge. And it, it, again, this is what, she didn't need the courthouse. She didn't need the robe. That's not what God's government is about. All she needed was a palm tree and God's authority. And God sent the people. So, you know, let's continue to humble ourselves before the Lord Almighty. And just remember that um, this is all about loving each other, helping the body of Christ through this, loving others. You know, in, it requires stretching to do that. All right? Like, I'm, I'm not the most, you know... Um, God has had to teach me how to love. I did not grow up. I don't, that was foreign to me. So basically I'm saying if I can do it, anyone can do it. You know, just submit to him and be humble and he will teach you how to love uh, a multitude. Yeah, he'll teach you how to love his people. You'll have a fit word for everyone that comes to you. Um, and, you know, should you be the ones like Peter, I mean, you will be. Many of you will be like Peter or like, also, I mean, Daniel, you know, when they told him he couldn't pray, that was never going to happen. There's a law. Now you can't pray, uh, you know, or, or Meshach, Meshach, Kashap, and Abednego. Sorry. Um, you know what I mean? When, when they make these laws, we're going into the lion's den. So, of course, God will appoint spiritual authorities to be able to help us through this time. God's word is bond and it reigns sovereign over this whole world, over believers, over non-believers, over creation, over animals. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry. Sit tight. And know that no matter what happens on this earth, I want you to know that God has established people and will continue to establish people who, should you feel afraid by the things that come, they are not. And there will be saints to go to. There will be teachings to be given, prophetic words to encourage and enlighten you. There will be evangelists to go out and continue to win souls. Everyone is in place. Praise the Lord. And Kiki too. No, not praise Kiki. I was just saying he's, oh my gosh, it, he has to eat right now. Bye.